Hey guys, this is Eric from Final Fantasy Studio School, and I'm here to show you how to build a keyer from scratch. Now we have um, key light and prime at and chroma key and all that good stuff, but those are kind of canned effects, you know, in a way. You can build keys from scratch, just like you can build blurs from scratch or anything else. So I'm going to show you how to build a key from scratch, and I'm not going to despill this. I'm not going to color correct this or anything. I'm just going to show you how to build this key. This is looks this this footage looks simple but let me tell you what I've been doing this a long time and for some reason this footage is hard to key with a single key um, it's gonna take multiple keys to key this and um, because of this glass here how it's transparent and it's just a tough key even though it don't look like it so uh, I'm not gonna worry about getting into it and making this key perfect I just want to show you how to build a key using other nodes besides using the uh, key light and prime at so uh, let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to branch off a color, go to my color tab. I'm going to branch off a color replace. Okay, now when I do this, it brings up my color replace parameters. Now it gives me the option to affect my alpha channel, and I want to do that if I'm using this as a key. So I'm going to turn that on. Okay, now my source color, it wants me to pick my source color. I'm going to click my source color, and I'm going to come over here and click my background, the color I want to key out. And Get an average there. Okay, now my replace color. I'm going to go into my color picker here and just choose black. Boom. Now you can see what happened here. Now this is also a great way just to pull a uh, mat for something. Now we can go into here. And we can adjust our hue range, our hue fall off. Like this. And we can just go in here and fiddle with it. The best of all, you know, just just trying to make a rough mat here. I'm not worrying about all the despill and stuff like that as of yet. Now, see if we hit the A key, you can see we have a alpha channel, and you can go in and be as um, picky with this or solid as this as you want. It's really up to you. I'm not going to uh, work too much on this here. Like I said, I don't want it to be too bad, but uh, you get the point. I, you know, I'm sure you don't want to sit here and watch me fool with this until I get it completely perfect. So let me just up this a little bit. Th this will be good right there, just for a rough view. Okay, now we have this color replace. So I'll go back to my color channel. Now I'm going to go back up here to my original footage and branch off a switch mat. A little layer, switch mat, branch. Now this will branch off our switch mat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my color replace and put it into my switch mat. Go to my switch mat and invert the mat. As you can see there's an invert mat option. Boom. And now we have this key, rough key, or mat. So now we can take our switch mat, go to the layer, add an over, and pop in our background. Now we have our background. And now you can go in <clears throat> and adjust your, your uh, hue fall off and saturation range all that good stuff now what I'm suggesting is you know to make this perfect I'm gonna have to go in and pull a separate key on the head I'm gonna have to pull a separate key on the glass and I just ain't got time for this I just wanted to basically show you a quick rundown of building a chroma key from scratch and this is the tree right here very very simple stuff color replace into a switch mat into an overnode. So uh, if you want to try to make an alpha or a mat from scratch or you just want to have a go at it and see if you can build your own key, now this is not key light, this is not prime mat. This is just a cheap generic build from scratch chroma key. So uh, I really hope this quick tip has helped and uh, we'll see you guys next time.